I believe in 2P, people and purpose. I believe our people is our age and they are also our asset. And if we were to employ our people purposefully, they will do what they need to do, willingly. I think the most enjoyable time is whenever I go down to the ground to do uh, visits. Uh, number one, I get to see my soldiers in action. Number two, I get to know my people better. And number three, I make sure that all the training that they conducted is in always in the safe manner. Ensure that they meet the correct standard and at the same time look after their people uh, during those course of training. I'm honoured to be receiving this promotion on uh, NS55. Uh, it is uh, uh, an appreciation of uh, my contributions. I, I would like to thank the Air Force for giving me the opportunities, uh, both as a regular as well as an NS man. Uh, being an ex-regular and then moving on to, uh, to an NS man, I actually have a lot of uh, the interactions uh, and I see you know, up close how some of these uh, things are done. Uh, and you know, these, these opportunities have actually helped me to develop and grow as a, as a person. How do we be a good leader? And being a good leader, uh, how, you how do you motivate people? How do you communicate with people so that they can see the mission, the sense of purpose and uh, be able to, uh, uh, you know, charge together with you to achieve the objective? To have the passion to learn. I think it's important for us to always have the thirst uh, on learning because you're going to explore or break new ground. Protecting our country's sovereignty and against terrorist threat is 24-7. This is something that we always have to be focused on to ensure all our plans are ready. We participated in Exercise Pacific Griffin in Guam last year. It was in the midst of the pandemic. As we all know, the pandemic caused a lot of disruptions even in the country, and especially so when we travel overseas. We, the exercise itself was very complex. We need to be extra disciplined and we also need to maintain the safe measures. That was a great challenge. At the end of the day, uh, my takeaway is the importance of people. As leaders, we need to be clear what we want to do and we need to translate it down to the people so that at the end of the day, they are able to perform competently and safely.